Defense lawyers in the Frank Smith bribery and corruption trial call for the case to be thrown out during the proceedings today. Fern Carey tells what prompted the request and how the court ruled. The main prosecution witness in the Frank Smith bribery and corruption case, Barbara Hanna, was being cross-examined by Smith's lead attorney, Daniel Knight QC, when she revealed certain information that prompted Knight to call for the case to be thrown out. That included the fact that Hanna said she gave police documents showing that she received a loan from lending company Poland, which is owned by Smith's family. Also, that she showed police documents from Commonwealth Bank, indicating that she made payments to Commonwealth Bank every month. Hannah alleges that she paid Frank Smith $5,000 a month after securing a $500,000 contract to clean the critical care block at Princess Margaret Hospital. Upon hearing that Hannah gave police documents from Poland and showed police documents from Commonwealth Bank, Mr. Knight noted that he had not been served with copies of those documents and he requested that they be given to him immediately. However, Crown Prosecutor Anthony Delaney said he did not have the documents, prompting Knight to ask the court to adjourn the case to allow Mr. Delaney to consult with the police, and the court agreed. When the proceedings resumed, Mr. Delaney informed the court that he had spoken to the investigating officer who said he did not have those documents. Mr. Knight then invited Chief Magistrate Joanne Ferguson Pratt to discontinue the proceedings. He suggested that Hannah volunteer the information about the documents with a specific intent to mislead the court. Knight also suggested that under the circumstances, the prosecution would have a duty to withdraw the case against Frank Smith and allow the court to enter a verdict of not guilty on each count. But the chief magistrate was not swayed. She told Mr. Knight that his arguments were premature and she did not feel legally bound to discontinue the proceedings at this time. Now, Barbara Hanna also testified in a cross-examination that although she secured the lucrative contract to clean the critical care block at PMH, she did not get any income from it. Asked why she had not complained about it, Anna said if she did, she might not have a contract and she wanted to protect the jobs of her 30 workers. When pressed by Mr. Knight, Hannah also explained that she had other contracts and private jobs with offshore banks that kept her afloat. Hannah also admitted under cross-examination that at one point she called Frank Smith and said, quote, Be careful, they are to get you. End quote. The trial resumes on December 20th. Fern Carey, CNS Network News.